What to do anime fans, we have a brand new fresh anime that just hit the streets and I am so pleased to announce that Kaiju number 8 episode 1, in my opinion, is an 8 out of 10. What to do, I'm Stu, let me be your anime guy. You like that, don't it? I know, I know. But anyway, let's get into this. Kaiju number 8, y'all, was great. And you already know I was gonna probably like it, like me being into the Godzillas and the Kongs and all of the other Kaiju and whatnot. I just think that, I think Kaiju as a concept are very cool and very interesting. So you already knew I was probably gonna love this show. And this just being episode one, I'm very much looking forward to the rest. I know that it's based on a manga. I have not read any of the manga. And I don't know if I will for this show, to be honest with you. I'm not sure, I'm still on the fence with it. But as far as this episode one, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The first half of it or so, I was watching it. I was enjoying it. I was entertained, you know. But when it gets to the last 10 minutes and Homeboy turns into a kaiju, a kaiju, a man turned into a kaiju, bro. Bro. How can you not be more entertained with it? How can you not be invested in it? Like, and this is just episode one. I have no idea what's about to transpire. And I kind of like that. I like not being in the know for this particular series and with that being said i was very much enjoying the main character and i'm very curious to know how the female character his um, i believe his best friend i'm very curious to know how she enters this story because she shows up in the in episode one she saves his life from a kaiju but they don't interact so that leads me to believe that something happened there there's a reasoning for why she's not speaking to him and i really want to know why is it because he didn't make the academy he's not on the force is it because she has tr transcended their friendship does she feel like she doesn't need to be bothered with peasants anymore like these are questions that i have and i'm very curious to know how these questions get answered throughout the series um yo the camera movements are so dynamic in this show. I love it. There's a scene where the main character is running from a kaiju, and I love that the movement of the camera was so fluid. It was tracking beautifully. And then the music was pumping. I love the score. Like, honestly, y'all, anime scores are probably always gonna be top tier. Like, I don't think I've seen an anime that has a bad score as far as the music. I, I haven't seen any yet. Um, and I don't think I will, to be honest with y'all. Um, but yeah, I'm very much invested in the show now. I want to know more about the world of the kaiju that these people are living in because right off the bat, we see a kaiju um, attacking the city like crazy. And it's horrifying, may I add. Shout out to all of the Japanese people. Y'all do a very good job of creating um, curses, demons, any type of scary monster. Y'all do a really good job of coming up with the uh, appearances for all of those creatures. So bravo on y'all part but as far as like the kaiju in the beginning showing up they showed us um briefly a squad a unit coming in as one taking it down with ease so you know what that means right i'm assuming that further down the line there are going to be kaiju they're like tough they're like boss level so i'm wondering if the unit that we saw in the beginning of, the, of episode one are they like actually good or is it that they fought a weak kaiju and they're just you know they just outmatched the kaiju but i want to see them like fight a kaiju that's like really about their life that's what i'm excited to see i'm sure that'll happen at some point in the show y'all that girl said we are gonna put it down the context today is really cool considering that she's gonna have to put down her best friend or past best friend. I'm very excited to see how that all unfolds because I'm gonna imagine that the guy turning into the Kaiju is gonna become like tough to deal with. I'm assuming he's gonna, you know, master his newfound <laughs> abilities, um, becoming a Kaiju. And I know she's tough. Like obviously she a top dog. Like you call her in, whatever it is they're getting put down they're getting sent in a box like they going in the dirt so i'm very much excited and interested to see how the face-off is going to be between the two because i'm assuming he's also going to be like no don't kill me i'm me you know me yada 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 
but she a little salty something happened she got a scar on her she, there's um some beef there or something she was let down she called him a liar in this end credit scene so there's some animosity there and i'm not sure if him saying it's me is going to slow her down or not because her duty is to put down kaiju so now you gotta interact with the fact that your duty is to put these creatures down but what do you do with that when those when, when one of those creatures is someone you used to be really close to and that ladies and gentlemen is why you definitely need to start kaiju number eight I'm going to give Kaiju number 8 an 8 out of 10. I can't wait for the next episode to drop. Let me know what you think. Have you seen it? Um, if not, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and dive in while it's just one episode so you don't fall behind because I'm pretty sure you're going to very much enjoy this show. Um, let me know what you thought down below. Subscribe. As always, peace.